Hey guys, today we're going to start chapter four of our math book. Okay, so we're working on chapter four, lesson one on page 223. Okay, so this chapter we're going to be working to answer the question, how can I subtract two digit numbers? So the chapter three, we're working to add two digit numbers, and now we're working on how to subtract them. Okay, so the first thing they want us to review is two digit or is fact families, but specifically with two digits. Okay, so to remind you, fact families are those related factors, right? So the numbers in the fact family all go together and can make the two addition sentences and two subtraction sentences. So you should be pretty familiar with fact families. We're just now going to be working with two, digit, two digits <laughs> or bigger numbers, right? So on page 223, here's what we are going to do for our fact family. So it says that Lindsay has 16 snowballs, okay? She throws seven of them. How many are left? It says to write the three numbers in the fact family, then write the related number sentences. So, so it says she has 16 snowballs and she throws seven of them. Okay? If it helps you to draw a picture at this point, since we don't know. Ooh, a bit messy. <laughs> so we have 5, 10, 15, 16. She threw 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So then we have 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 left. You could also just know that if I took 6, 7 from 16, it'd be 9. Or you could write down 16 minus 7. Okay? So for our fact families, now that we have our three numbers and our related, we're going to put our related number sentences. Okay? So the addition, of course, is the two parts equal the whole. So 7 plus 9 equals 16. And of course, we know with addition, you have a turnaround fact. So the other piece, 9 plus 7 equals 16. With subtraction, you're going to start with the whole and take away one of the parts. So 16 minus 7 is 9. And then, of course, going the other way, 16 minus 9 is 7. Okay? So exactly like we did with the other fact families, we're just going to be starting working with bigger numbers, okay? So the numbers in this addition and subtraction fact family are 18, 15, and 3, okay? So then they showed us already how to write the related sentences. So they have number sentences. They have 15 plus 3, so the two parts together is 18. Then they flipped their turnaround fact. 3 plus 15 is still 18 because that's our whole. Then subtraction, you have 18 minus 15, which is 3. So 18 minus 15 is 3. And then 18 minus 3 is, of course, 15. So the same related sentences, okay? So now they just want us to complete each fact family. So for this first one, there's only two related facts because it's a doubles. So it's going to be the same. So 12 plus 12 is, of course, 24, because that's our whole. And then we have 24 minus 12 is going to equal 12. Okay, so only two because it's that doubles fact. All right, the next one, they wrote these sentences for you. So you have 11 plus 6 equals 17. And then you have 6 plus 11 equals 17, right, because of that turnaround fact. Then 17 minus 11 equals the other part, which is 6. And then 17 minus 6 is, of course, 11 because, again, the part. Okay, so this should be really familiar for you because we've worked through this with fact families before. Okay, same thing. 16 plus 4 is our whole, which is 20. 20 minus 4 is 16, all right? And then the, this time they want you to finish them. So the other addition problem, so 16 plus 4, is going to be flipped around. 4 plus 16 equals 20, all right? And same thing, they want us to have the other subtraction problem. Remember, you always start with the whole, so 20. And then we already took away 4, so we're going to take away 16, because that's the other number. And then we're left with 4. Again, always just using the three numbers in my fact family. Okay, so it says, how are these exercises like fact families that we've learned earlier? So they're exactly the same, right? We have our two addition, two subtraction. We're using all the numbers. We have our whole and our parts. They're just bigger numbers, okay? So that's all you're going to do today is you're going to work through these fact families, setting up the related facts, the related number sentences using your fact family, and then doing the same thing with some word problems and really stretching your brain, okay? And then for homework, for credit, you're going to do exactly the same thing, setting up those fact families, and using those word sentences as well, or those word problems as well, those brain builders, okay? So I've also included the music, the song that we used the last time we worked with Fact Families in the lesson, so feel free to review that as well. All right, guys, good luck with this review section, working with bigger numbers.